I'm in a basement in a house in Harper Woods. And, um, you know, there's pockets of clay over here, clay soil, and the clay soil is bad on your foundation. When it gets wet, it expands like a sponge and it pushes on the foundation. So you see a lot of foundation issues over here in this section of Harper Woods on the Gross Point border. And this house is no exception. It's got, a, it's got the classic issues, the problems that you see. It's got a block foundation and apparently it was bowing in and someone paid to have these steel I-beams put in and that's a four inch steel I-beam and uh, it's set in the concrete floor it's not bolted to it sometimes they'll put like an angle iron at the bottom and then bolt it to the floor they won't set it in the concrete like this so this is this is better I'm making this video because this is a actually a good job <laughs> I think so you know I've got so many pictures of bad ones, I thought I'd make a video of a good one. So it's set in the floor, okay, not bolted to it. These I-beams are like right here, they're about four feet apart over there. I think those are like six feet apart. Um, it's a nice four-inch steel I-beam. They're installed the right way. I've seen them installed this way, sideways. Um, he put mortar in behind the, the I-beam, see, because the wall was crooked, so he put mortar in here so that you get pressure, even pressure on the wall all the way up instead of just in the middle where it's bowed. Because when these walls bow, they always bow in the middle. Because when you break a stick, if you take a stick and break it between your hands, it always breaks in the center, right? It doesn't break over to the right or left, it breaks in the center. And these walls are the same. They break right in the center. So you end up with a bulge here. They bulge in here. And then there's a gap up here usually because uh, it's, it's farther out up here. So you've got to put that mortar in there, or grout they call it. To fill that in so you get even pressure and then he blocked it up at the top here so you put a block here and then a block here and then a block here so it's blocked i don't know if he pulled the duct, the duct work off and put a block in there or not it looks like it's been removed he may have pulled that duct work off and put a block in there too uh, and the reason you want to do that is because there's so much pressure on this wall that if you don't block it out See, so blocked it out here too. If you don't block it out, this joist right here, this one, see it's a two by 10 floor joist. This joist will start to twist like this because all this pressure from this I-beam pushing on this, pushing on this will start to twist. And I've seen them twist so bad that they split right in the center. So he blocked it out good. He set the beams in the floor. He used good four inch steel I-beams that stick steel. Uh, they're the right distance apart. He put big steel plates over here. See, those joists run perpendicular to the wall. These run with the wall. So he put these big steel plates on here like that. Look at that. This one, he put some blocking in here. And I don't know who put this block out here, but that's not doing anything because there's a gap here. But there's big, there's two two big joists here right right next to it I would have blocked this back a little bit farther you know six eight feet I mean I'd, be, I'd just buy you know eight foot long lumber and you know put in there and go at least six or eight feet out he's got a big steel plate on this one this one's got nice big blocks in here so you know all in all this is a pretty good job it's not a perfect job but it's better than most that I see so like I said I just thought I'd make a video of it uh, they also did some waterproofing here. When you see this little plastic material that comes up on the wall like this, what they did is they, you could see they busted up the floor here and they put in a drain tile and pea gravel. And this leads to the floor drains in the basement basically over to the clean out. And it gets the water, it gets the water out from behind the wall, which also helps these foundation issues. So, you know, not bad. I mean, they probably paid, uh, 